Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 11th, right? This is my second one. I already did one. Lately, I've been wanting to do two because I want to, I just want to double check. I don't know why. I feel like I need to double check. Um, it, the, obviously, they've been coming out the same both days that I've done two. Both readings have been very similar uh, both times both the day before yesterday and yesterday. Both readings were like very similar. But anyhow, what do we have for right around the 11th, okay? What do we have for around the 11th? Ooh, bottom of the deck, nine of pentacles, self-sufficient, independent person doing quite well. Right? This person appears to be looking good, feeling good, doing quite, quite well. Now, I don't know why it's not going to really focus because, you know, it's giving me a hard time. Anyhow, the Nine of Pentacles is solid, secure, stable, looking really, really good. Okay? So we got somebody here that is really in a good place. Very happy. Enjoying life. Doing their own thing built themselves up, very valuable. Standing in some sort of doorway by the looks of things. Now we got the Ace of Swords on the bottom. This is clarity, the truth, the raw truth, the power. Taking a new approach. Somebody's gonna be taking a new approach. We'll be seeing something very, very clearly. It's very clear that, I don't know, it looks good. Um, Ooh, the fool. The fool is a new beginning, a new journey, stepping into unknown territory. So we have somebody here that's going to be stepping into unknown territory, stepping forward in blind faith. This is a spur of the moment decision. Leaving something behind, leaving it behind. Taking a risk. The lovers reversed, so there could be a separation here. Maybe it, this is this could be, you know, obviously it has to do with love or it has to do with partnership. This is a separation. I mean, the fool is very freeing. It's freedom, freedom from a partnership, maybe. Freedom from a union. This is incompatibility. There is a lack of reciprocation. Uh, separation. And the fool is freedom. Freedom from somebody that they're not compatible with. Breaking free. There's no compatibility, there's no unity, there's no togetherness. This could be an unhappy couple. Somebody's breaking free. Now, the Nine of Pentacles is very independent. Okay, this is somebody that is independent, uh, successful, capable, self-sufficient. We may have somebody here that is breaking free from a union to become self-sufficient, to be independent. Or may have somebody that's stepping out of independence. The fool is a new phase. It's a new beginning. Starting over from scratch. It's a fresh start. Okay? So it's like freedom. Taking, take, this person has the resources to do it. They do. They have all the resources they need in their little bag. Okay? They, they got what they need to be successful. Nine of Wands, Three of Swords. Now, Nine of Wands is somebody that is uh, strong. This is somebody that obviously has been wounded, obviously has been hurt. This is taking soul ownership. Choosing, somebody may be definitely being alone or they've been protecting themselves. We may have somebody here that has been hurt really, 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 really bad. Okay, this is a lot of pain. This is a wounded warrior. I don't know if we, this, but this one appears, I mean, pushing somebody away. Somebody may be pushing somebody away. Um, get back. <laughs> That's what I just saw. Get away from me. Um, three of swords. Now, three of swords is heartache. It's grieving. It's pain. Somebody may be telling somebody to get away from them. You know, there's some sort of defending, defending oneself. 
protecting, protecting one. Somebody may be protecting themselves from getting hurt. <laughs> Maybe they've been in a partnership where there was no unity, there was no compatibility, but that fool is stepping into unknown territory. So something's going on here. Expecting trouble, expecting to get hurt. We have somebody here that's kind of like expecting it. It's like they got their guard up. But the fool is, is uh, you know, that's doing something risky. We have somebody here that has been hurt over a separation. There's been some sort of separation or there's going to be a separation. There is going to be or there has been. Fool. Starting over from scratch. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, does it have to be? We have Aries, we have Gemini. Um, Queen of Pentacles, very loyal. Looks like she has an opportunity in her hands. Dog symbols loyalty, okay? So the Queen of Pentacles is solid, she's stable, she's real, she's loyal, she's hardworking. Uh, this is somebody that is very devoted, maybe a businesswoman. Uh, business oriented looks like she has an opportunity in her hands a romance is in the air as well because of these roses okay so there's some sort of opportunity here queen of pentacles she has a huge opportunity and she's a something in her hands she's got something in her hands something solid something real something stable Something you can hold on to. I mean, that's something solid. That's something you can take to the bank, right? Something real. Something real. Solid, secure opportunity. Somebody is going to be... It's like she has it. I don't think she's giving it away yet. Because she's holding on to it. Hmm. Five of Swords Reverse. Now, the Five of Swords Reverse could be the end of a conflict. There's been some sort of power struggle. Somebody's been wanting to prove themselves. They've been wanting to prove that they're right, letting their ego get in the way of their happiness. This could be peace talks, you know. The end of some sort of conflict. I feel like somebody's been pushing somebody away. It's right next to that nine of wands. Remember I said pushing somebody away? <laughs> Excuse me. Um, typically in the five of swords cards, which you all know, most of you do anyway, there's somebody that is walking away or being pushed away or, you know, something like that. So something is, somebody's been pushed away. You know, they've been pushed away. Maybe they've been told, no, I'm not going to. It hurts though. Something hurts. Separation. There's some sort of painful separation here. Somebody's been maintaining their boundaries. You know, they've been, you know. Mm -mm. Two of Swords coming out of denial, seeing the truth. There also is something that is being exposed, okay? Five of Swords reversed and the Two of Swords reversed is something that is being exposed. It's either crime being exposed or lies being exposed. Somebody's going to be put on defensive. They are going to need to, they're going to be put on defensive, okay? They are. They're going to be put on the defensive. There could be a fight here. Five of Swords reversed could be an extreme battle. It could be a big fight. Anything in reverse can be an extreme. And we did we did have the tower in the last reading. But anyway, the Lovers reverse is a fight as well. So I'm not sure if we have a couple that is going to fight. They may get in an argument. They could get in a power struggle. There's been some lies. There's been denial. There's been some pain. This this hurts. Whatever it is, the Three of Swords hurts. Okay, it's a painful separation. It's a painful loss of some sort. There's been some sort of lies that are being exposed, coming out of denial, uh, being pushed away. There could be a separation with the lovers reverse. This is incompatibility, not on the same page. The fool is going in a new direction, leaving this mess behind, leaving it behind. There's no, 
there's a blockage here. Somebody, it's because of somebody's ego. Somebody's ego is blocking the connection. Also, there's fear. There's fear of the unknown. Somebody has been so, in, so protecting themselves because of that Nine of Wands and the Two of Swords because they were hurt so badly in the past because of that Five of Swords. They're in protection mode. This is definitely protective energy. Looks like war. I don't know if it's war or not. Um, could be. Could be the end of a war. The end of a battle. For the Five of Swords reversed. Oh, here we go. Ooh. Knight of Swords reversed, death reversed, or Knight of Swords upright, death reversed, Ace of Cups reversed. So this is emotional. It's very emotional. Somebody is in their emotions. They, it is. There's, it is. This is emotional. This is somebody that is doing something. Okay, they're doing it with the Knight of Swords. I'm putting plans in action. Somebody is really in their feelings. I don't know if it's because of a separation. They're putting up a fight. They're, this could definitely be a war. It could be a battle. Somebody is hurting. They're hurting over a loss. Death. Death reverse. There's been some sort of delay. This, I mean, this could be a disaster. It could be with death reverse. This is also somebody, like I said, that has been held back by fear. They've been held back by fear, ignoring their feelings, not listening to their intuition, feelings all over the place. It's extremely emotional, not listening to their heart. But the Knight of Swords is very assertive energy. It's assertive. It's communication. It's direct. It's taking action. It's doing it right now. It's replacing that fear. It's letting go of the fear, the Knight of Swords, throwing themselves. Somebody may be throwing themselves into the heart of a situation. They're putting some plans in action. You know, this is somebody that is taking a risk, okay? This is swift action, okay? Maybe something is close to ending because death reverse may be a near-death experience. It's like it's close to being over. They're losing an opportunity for love. The Ace of Cups is... An, is in reverse is a lost opportunity for love. It's like throwing an opportunity for love away. Okay. It could be a nearly over. It's almost over. Somebody pushed somebody away, you know, and now they're about to take action, opening up. They're about to do something. The Knight of Swords is somebody that doesn't have any fear, that is putting plans in action. It's extremely emotional. This is putting up a fight. Putting There is going to be a fight, I believe, or somebody that is... Well, this person appears to be some sort of warrior. You know, this is a warrior. This is a protector. There's something about protection here as well. Um, I have to do this. I have to do this. Ooh, Six of Swords, moving on, going someplace, traveling in a new direction, leaving, leaving the trouble behind, right? That is, that is going to a better place, taking a new approach. Somebody is definitely going somewhere. They're all done fighting because we, that Five of Swords is, is before it and it already came out and that's reversed. This is like the end. There's been some serious power struggle. It's extremely emotional. Emotions are all over the place about this partnership. Going somewhere. Right now with that Knight of Swords, this is... This is taking action right now. It's like, I got this approach, take, got this idea, I gotta do this, I gotta do this right now. Coming in, this is, this is action, okay? Doing it, opening up, unblocking the fear, letting go of the fear. 
somebody has been in complete protection mode, they've been protecting themselves, maybe even in their ego. Anyhow, that nine of wands is, they've come, somebody has come so far. They don't want to give up. They don't want to give up. They don't want to lose. They want to beat the, they want to beat the other person. You know, they want to beat, they want to win. doesn't want it to end doesn't want somebody doesn't want it to end mm. going somewhere what five of pentacles reversed this is a turning point it is definitely a turning point there's been some neglect there's been some abandonment maybe even some ghosting somebody was left out in the cold This is coming out. It's coming out of the darkness. Headed towards something. Obviously. Nine of Cups reversed. Nine of Cups reversed is unhappy. Extremely unhappy. Whew, right on top of that, Ace of Cups reversed. That makes Ten of Cups reversed, which means lack of emotional fulfillment. Dying dream. This is a dying dream. This is unstable. Headed towards stability. Taking a new approach. Doing something on a whim. Doing something spontaneous. Unable to give or receive love. This is not what happiness this is not my dream this is not what i asked for there's been some emotional dishonesty here going overboard somebody has been going overboard they they've been ignoring they've been ignoring something as well very unhappy we have somebody here that is very insecure they are very unhappy they're troubled you know they've been in some sort of conflict they've been in some sort of battle with a partner that they are not compatible with or something like that or they've been separated from this person they're really 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 not happy I mean the nine of cups reverse is not happy oh my goodness very similar to the other reading star reversed really not happy okay the star reverse is disbelief. This is this is uh, fearful. No faith. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? <coughs> Somebody is rushing. They're in a hurry. Excuse me. They are in a hurry. They are. That's what the Knight of Swords is. This is somebody that is putting some plans in action. Some plans that they have thought out. Unbelievable. The star reversed next to the death reversed. Lack of dreams. There's no wish fulfillment here. Nine of cups reversed next to the star reversed. This is not wish fulfillment. This is not what I asked for. This is not fulfilling. It's not emotionally fulfilling. Unhappy. There could be a battle here. There could be a battle, a serious battle. Um, somebody has been in a dark place. They have. It hurts. This is painful separation. Push, pushing somebody away. This isn't, this isn't making me happy. This isn't making me happy. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. Star card reversed of hope depleted we got somebody here that is depleted ashamed maybe maybe even ashamed very arrogant we definitely have an arrogant individual here who pushed somebody away because of their ego or something like that or who knows what reason they may be coming back around or somebody is, I mean, the Six of Swords is taking a new approach. There's been some sort of abandonment. It's right next to the Five of Pentacles. This is, this is a turning point. 
taking a risk. Came out reversed, ace of pentacles reversed. This is a loss, it's a huge loss. It's a huge, we have a huge loss here. A lost opportunity. We have a lost opportunity, we do. Because of somebody's arrogance. This person wants to win. They wanted to win at all costs. They didn't want to. They didn't want to share. They didn't because the lovers is reversed. They didn't want to share, 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 or something like that. Resources, maybe, because the five of pentacles is reversed right next to it. It could be some money problems. Could be fighting over money. Loss of financial. Loss of money, which could be causing fights. Seeing clearly. This is seeing clearly what the best thing to do is. This is becoming clear of the best choice. So somebody, you know, we may even have an attack here with the Knight of Swords. I mean, I hate to say that. And the Nine of Wands, this is like seriously getting prepared. Defensive, defending, defending. Somebody may be defending them, themselves or protecting themselves or planning an attack or... Getting ready, getting ready for an attack, you know, I don't know, but this is like, oh my God, why is this happening? You might need to protect yourself, you might need to defend yourself, okay? May have somebody who is in some sort of pain over losing a partnership, you know, and they uh, explode. We saw that in the other one, we did. They've been blocking their emotions, two of swords, ace of cups reversed. You know, they've been in denial of their feelings, you know, and they just get some sort of epiphany. They got to do something. The knight of swords could certainly be an epiphany. Taking assertive action. This is a, somebody that is going to be asserting themselves. They have been held back by fear, but they are definitely letting go of their fear and they are about to do something because they're not happy in their current circumstances at all. They've been in their ego, and their ego has been driving, okay? This is somebody that is unwilling to let go of an opportunity that they have probably lost. You know, they probably lost it, and maybe they want it. I don't know. This is becoming clear of the best choice. This is. It's coming out of confusion. It's seeing very, very clearly what the best option is. Ooh, I already told you about this one. I already did it, right? But here it is. This is, could be the end of a relationship. Relationship problems, a dying dream. Somebody's dream is, is dying. Their dream is dying because they haven't had the courage to take action. Lost opportunity. Losing an opportunity for forever. Losing an opportunity for happiness, right? That's what that is. It is. Sorry. I'm going to get the other two that go with it. Nine of Cups reversed and the Star card reversed. We have relationship problems here. We have somebody here that is an unhappy relationship. There may even be some addictions here. Okay, this is like wishing I never would have got in my, myself into this situation. There's low self-esteem. There's low self-confidence. We have somebody here that, you know, maybe in a bad mood. Their wishes, you know, what they thought they had turned into a nightmare. Now they can't get out of it because... <clears throat> of financial reasons. Or because of ego, because they don't, because of pride. Anyway, swift action is about to be taken. Emotions all over the place. Somebody is going somewhere. They're struggling. They're struggling. They're probably struggling financially and they're struggling with their securities, right? Their insecurities, you know, they're struggling. That's what's, that's what's causing this departure. There is a departure here. There is. That Knight of Swords. Breaking free. Breaking free from a union that 
has been nothing but a struggle. reverse really not happy this is not wish fulfillment this is going overboard uh, the star reversed same I mean this is depleted no faith disbelief lost opportunity somebody has missed an opportunity for happiness somebody's about to put up a fight I believe there's gonna be a fight there is gonna be a fight or an incident with that death card reverse. There's been some indecision, but there's clarity that is coming. We saw that, I believe, with the Ace of Swords at the beginning. Clarity, seeing the truth, speaking the truth, taking the power, taking control. Somebody's gonna be taking control, they are. Gonna be taking a new approach. First card out was the Fool, that's a new phase. It's taking, stepping into unknown territory, stepping forward in faith, taking a risk, starting a new journey. So a new journey is beginning after some sort of, well, right behind it was the lover's reverse, separation. Good luck. <laughs>